Hello, everybody. Garrel here, coming to you from the Music Zoo, today with my two old friends, Mike from Taylor Guitars and Jordan from the Music Zoo. We want to talk about one of our favorite things, and that would be Hawaiian kawa. So, Mike, I know everything there is to know about Hawaiian kawa, but I want to test you by asking you what you can tell me about Hawaiian kawa. Let's hear it. Let's have it. Well, obviously, I'm going to be telling you things you already know. Yeah, absolutely. Since yeah, absolutely. you know everything about kawa. Yeah. But maybe people watching don't. So, what is it about kawa? Well, first of all, kawa looks kind of awesome, right? thing about koa is it's a very musical wood. What do I mean by that? It actually has the best parts of maple, mahogany, and rosewood coming out of a singular wood. What does that mean? That means you're going to get a high end, very much just like maple. You're going to get a nice squishy mid-range like you would out of mahogany. Which I love. And you're going to get a nice low mid like is realized in rosewood. But That's here's the love. thing. There you go. Uh, the thing of koa is it's a very stiff wood. So at first, it sounds a little stiffer out of the box, but still sounds really good. Mm. Over time, as koa breaks in, the sound gets bigger and bigger, and that low end actually grows bigger and bigger. So you get more low end introduced in the, in the tonality of koa guitars as time goes on. Right. Now, mm. I get asked frequently, when does that happen? Well, it's not a day, a week, a month, but it could be in a couple of months you'll start noticing differences the more you play and also how you play. Koa, again, is a stiff wood. So if you're a very light finger picker, you're not really attacking getting that top to vibrate or getting those sides and back to vibrate much. It's going to take a little bit longer for that to happen. But I'll tell you this much. I've had people buy Koa guitars and then I'll see them five years later at a road show or an in-store event and they'll bring that Koa guitar back in and wow you could tell yeah. a noticeable difference right. over yeah. time. It's kind of the coolest part about Ko. It's kind of like, it's like a tone investment in yourself. You're like, it's like the cast iron pan of uh, tone. Oh, I like you know that. I mean? yeah. it's you seasoned it. Yeah, exactly. Don't stick it in the oven, though. No. Very bad. Uh, no. Do not oven cure uh, or put oil on your Ko guitar, <laughs> much well, like yeah, a cast iron pan. It's kind of the coolest part, though. It's like it almost becomes like a great guitar into like an even greater guitar, because yeah, the yeah. more you play it, the more you're gonna get back from it. Yep. Yeah, it's it's just like I say, and uh, you know, like we joke around a bit at Taylor, the worst a Koa guitar sounds is the day it's made. <laughs> and it sounds pretty good yeah. as it is, you know? Just over time, it just opens up more and more and more. And that's, as long as it's got a, a you know, Koa of any part of it, like this is a GS Mini Koa Plus, this is the 224 CEK Deluxe, or the Builder's Edition K24 CE. All of these have Koa tops. So, so they're all gonna realize that accentuated growth in low end tone yeah. over time. Sides and back guitars will realize that too. It'll be a little bit different uh, if they have a spruce top and or if they have a natural style top, which by the way, we have these as well. Now these are natural topped koa or spruce top koa guitars. We have the GS Mini E koa. This is a non plus version, so it's got the satin finish. We have a 214 CEK spruce top layered koa sides and back on this one and then we have the builders edition k14 ce which again is going to have koa back and sides but a torrified spruce top so all these are going to give you different responses but the unifying thing is that really musical tonality of koa mm. you know and and again as these guitars grow with you and you're playing over time you're going to get a little bit more depth and tone it's still going to sound absolutely fantastic and Really, at the end of the day, it's koa. Right. So you could, you know, hang it on the wall and call it art, and nobody would argue with you. Mm. And then you could take it off the wall and make different art with it, which is kind of cool. It kind of speaks for itself. And again, you know, for those of you that don't know, getting koa is not the easiest thing in the world. It comes from one place on the planet, on the Big Island, Hawaii, at higher elevations, and it's tough to get. But we at Taylor Guitars are very big on sustainability and we are actually actively growing koa mm -hmm. that a hundred years from now you know none of us will be here to harvest it but our children and grandchildren will and they'll be able to be playing guitars made of koa for years to come so uh koa is here it's here to stay it's a beautiful wood and you can find all these models right here at the music zoo you certainly can oh yeah garrett how many uh gs mini koas have we sold over the years probably 60 or seventy thousand. you know what the coolest part is <laughs> none of them look the same that's very true yeah, yeah. and we not one gs mini koa has ever looked the same them. yeah which is i think really cool that you can yeah. select your own you know gs mini e so when are we going to go to hawaii well when you buy a ticket 
<laughs> and rent that car and get your Airbnb, y'all can go there. <laughs> Handpicked, handpicked. Yeah, cool. yeah. I don't know if you could pick the tree. Uh, that would be a very <laughs> long, long tail way of production. Yeah, but uh, you can try. You can always visit, or you can do it under the guise of picking koa and just go to a luau. Yep, or surf. <laughs> So we stock all of the Taylor Koa models here at the Music Zoo, and it's really cool because you have an access point to a Koa guitar across the spectrum of their offerings from GS Minis on up to Builder's Edition guitars. And don't forget Baby Taylors. And Baby Taylors as well, yeah. Everywhere. And the cool thing is that with many of these models, we individually photographed and list them. So you can also look at our listings and hand select your own guitar, and that's the exact one that you'll receive. That's so right. Check those all out on our website at themusiczoo.com. Subscribe to our ZooTube channel and check out our social media channels at The Music Zoo.